In today's Pixel Gun 3D video, we are checking out the latest Traders Van. Now, it was here originally for five days, and today's Traders Van is nothing to do with weapons. It is, in fact, to do with modules. So, welcome back, everyone. My name is Echo, and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Pixel Gun 3D video, we're checking out the latest Traders Van. But it's not your typical trader's van. Originally here for a total of five days. It's showing three days for me. It's actually like three days and 20 hours. Like I said, Pixel Gun always rounds down instead of up. So this trader's van is all to do with modules. Now I've noticed something specific. And that is this trader's van is all to do with the kinetic modules. So does this mean the next two trader's van, the next one is going to be the energy modules and then maybe the magic one. Now, if you are looking for a more in-depth explanation behind the modules, I highly recommend checking out Drot's latest two videos. They really helped me and they're going to help you. In this video, I'm going to buy all of these modules and I'm going to just rank up my modules a bunch more and just show you how good Kinetic can be. Although, I don't recommend using Kinetic on everything. Also, after watching Drott's video, he kind of said, don't buy the shiv. It really doesn't make much difference. In fact, I think it makes the damage a lot less. Anyway, it looks like it's available for like all the categories, primary, backup. This is obviously melee. And yeah, so it's just those ones I have available here. So, I mean, they're coming in at a price of 295. It's, and some of these aren't even gonna fill up my whole entire like area honestly like i'm hoping to upgrade a couple of things in today's video but again i'm only buying these because one of the sections that i have quite low is in fact the kinetic module and like drop said don't buy the shiv i'm not gonna buy it as well because then my traders van is in fact going to disappear so modules are a huge part of pixel gun 3d now to test it, take modules off your weapon and see how not so strong it is and then put modules on them. There is three main categories and that is the kinetic, that is the energy and that is the magic. For example, the kinetic one adds kinetic damage to your attack. So it's plus five. This one is extra energy plus five and this one is magic module plus five. Now, each one of these does like specific things. For example, the ammunition increases the amount of ammunition for your weapon. This one is to reduce bullet dispersion when shooting, and this one speeds up weapon reload speed. Now, certain modules are, are different, okay? So, for example, this being the debt collector, the kinetic damage and, and the perfect combination on the kinetic is important because this gives you, for a limited time, the ability to just non-stop shoot. You probably experienced it before. However, for specific weapons, sometimes the energy is the best one and sometimes the magic one is. Now, there is various different combinations. So, let's say we went with this one. You see that the combination of this one is increases damage, pierce the tar pierces the target. That's really good for, like, automatic weapons, especially something with a high fire rate. Let's take this off. And then this one gives a chance to recover the bullets after a headshot, passive. I typically stick to either the kinetic or the energy for my primary. Again, you've probably seen them all before. I don't really need to explain the modules, but for example, the kinetic on my backup, every shot delivers a critical hit, which is absolutely huge. For the melee, well, for this one, being the Heroic Epi, recovers a percentage from damage dealt, which again is really important. And again, the Shiv is recommended to avoid using the Shiv, but for a perfect combination, it's it's good to have it on. I'm kind of curious though, if I don't have a perfect module set, is it still pretty good? That's something I've never really understood. And then, for example, I like to have this combination on the Ronin. Or on any special, just because it drops the sticky mines. The scatter sticky mines are absolutely insane for a small map. So if I was to put this one on it, being the kinetic, it says discarded clip will explode damage area passive. I feel like it's not really good enough. So I, I typically typically stick to having this combination. But for the sake of today's video, we're going to be using typically... Um, the kinetic and just show you what they're all about and then for this one well again i like to use invisibility so i would typically use the magic one and as you'll see with this and with this temporarily gives you x-ray having this and x-ray goggles is just a perfect combination but again in today's video we're going to be use using the lower modules that i have in pixel gun 3d and then for the heavy 
I typically use this combination, which is the energy one because it sets off a rocket. It's like a smart bullet bazooka. You've seen that weapon before. But again, in this video, we're going to go with, not this, this combination right here. Creates an explosive on the place of your death. So let's just see how we do. And is this Trader's Van a good one or a bad one? I don't know. If you need Kinetic, it's kind of good, but I think it's way too overpriced. Now, one thing you might start seeing is more people using this, right? Because having the ability to automatically spam this is a huge advantage. Watch this, right? Just the ability to just... Damn, you got me there. Just the ability to non-stop spamming it is huge. Let's try it here, right? So we now have the, the chance to spam as many bullets as we want. Like, this just doesn't stop, right? Now, this is typically only a two-shot weapon. And you can see here, it, it turns it into a fully automatic shotgun, which is quite scary considering the death collector damage is incredibly high. Let's even get some more kills here. There's another guy here, right? Let's go. I don't think so, bruv. It's also got insane range. Now, I really don't know what other shotgun I would recommend with this kind of pepper combination, but you can see even with the range there, it's still going to get everybody. Let's go with this guy. Now, I don't like... I don't really know the combination of this one because you don't really activate... The perfect modules on this one. Why is everyone just standing still? Maybe they're talking. I don't know. Let's go with this. This is a discarded clip. Does I'm out, dude. That's yeah. There will be discarded clip. Does damage. Sticky out. I don't think so, dude. You're dead. How do you kill somebody when you're already dead? Let's try this. Scanner. Wait, did that, that guy just steal my kill? Did I get my kill stolen? It. I think I did. What? Oh, rude. Come on. Got him. Dead. And this one is, what is it? Upon death, you explode, right? You explode. It's actually a really good combination with this. I'm so gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so gonna die there. But I, I just prefer X-Ray. I think it's a little bit better to have. Personally, I just like Kinetic on this, if, if anything. Well, look at this guy. Yo! Oh, this guy's been eating blue Smarties. All right, let's go one, two. Nope, that guy left the game. He's like, I'm late in this game, so I'm out. All right, fully auto. Fully auto. I don't think so. Dude, chill with the chill, chill with the beast. They're still coming. I'm out. I'm out. I ain't dealing with that. I don't want to deal with that. Got him. No. Guy right behind me. Hit him once. See, this is usually always a one-shot kill, too. Where, 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 where? So honestly, like my advice when it comes to using modules, and I'll say it all the time, it's good to have like a, a mix. Mix of kinetic, a mix of, of energy, a mix of magic. It just depends. It just depends on the perfect modules for me, personally. I don't think so. Boy, I'm out. Sticky. Out. Let's get rid of this thing, and then let's get rid of him. And then let's get rid of him. And him. Someone's, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, let's go. But I'll try this on a couple of maps and just see how we do, huh? Yeah, double double kill there, boy. How are you not dead, though? Desync there. Let's go. Okay. Um. Whoa, they're both invisible. Okay. One, not anymore. One's dead. Just, I just think some of the kinetic, using a full combination. I used to love kinetic, like... In my earlier days, before fully understanding modules, I think a lot of people were the same. I used to always think Kinetic was the best. It's just, it's really not. Most of them are like passive related. And then you look at like some of the other combinations and they're incredibly aggressive. Sorry, bro. So, I mean, we managed to get a dub there. So I've said this once and I'll, I'll say it again. Like this, this combination for this kind of map is, is the best, right? It's it's 100% the best combination for the fact that you're able to just spam in small spaces. So when we get the perfect combination, which we're about to get, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. might need to save it for a sec. I'm so dead. You missed me? Uh, yeah, so now we'll save it for this, right? So we should, no, I switched weapons, darn it. Switched weapons by mistake. Let's stay with this. Because I just want to show you how OP this combination is on this map. And get some kills at least, sorry, bro. Get it fully loaded, at least. There's a guy just chilling there. Let's reload anyway, and then let's go fully auto. Because now, 
everywhere I go. We're able to spam this. Just without even reloading. Although we're not seeing many people here. There we go. Now we gotta reload it. Got him. Let's go. Did he kill? He's coming close. Go, 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 go. I don't know how I made it down the whole entire hallway without being killed there. I'll take that for sure. Got him. Got him. So this isn't... How, how have I already shot one of these bullets? What? I don't think so, bro. That guy was trying to steal my kill. I was making sure I got that kill. There's another guy behind me. Usually people have anti-kinetic on this, which is really weird. I don't know why people have so much anti-kinetic. I feel like the kinetic module just is not the best. So honestly, like, in reality, this Trayus man is really not the best. It's just generally not the best Trayus man. I'm saying it's terrible. Just boosting up your uh, combination a little bit is not a bad idea. Oh, I didn't get that kill. Dude. Dude, oh my lord, everyone's just chilling there. That guy left, or died, or glitched, or I don't know what was going on with him. Let's try this a little bit more, because I don't I don't typically use... Come on. I don't typically use kinetic on my, on my special area, but everybody's got... Everyone's canceling out the, the perfect module combination on this. Do you know what I mean? Like, three or four people in here have anti-kinetic. Sticky. Out. There's a guy behind me. There's a dude behind me, right? Yeah, I knew I was gonna die. X-ray. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage for not having X-ray on two of my weapons. Or, because I, I like to have X-ray on my, uh, my sniper because I use it a lot. The guy behind him. I see ya. I see ya. Reload. Oh, I'm so dead. No. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, man, they got anti-kinetic. And th this is why I say it's always good to have a different combination. Because if you're just using kinetic, you're kind of in big trouble. It's not a lie either. You're in big trouble. And I got to reload. And that's where it's not good to have that combination on this. X-ray again, though. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yours. Got him. Let's reload. Let's go. I'm dead. To be fair though, I shouldn't lose this game. What's the score looking like? Eh, it's close. It's not enough time for them to bring it back though. The good thing about the Ronin though, like, you're probably seeing my time to kill is really good, even with Kinetic. What I will say to you is, yeah, my time to kill is good with it, even if people do have anti-kinetic, and that is because the Ronin is still one of the best weapons in this game. So what I will say to you is, honestly, the idea of a of a module traders fan sounds so good, but in reality, I don't think it is, because it's not always going to give you a complete module in order to rank them up, especially if you've got high tier modules. I simply spent my gems to show you in today's video, so if you could leave a like, I do really appreciate it. I'm not saying there is a right or wrong combination to use with modules. You're gonna have to mess around with them. For example, Death Collector, absolutely perfect using that. But for the likes of my ultimatum, it's not a good idea to have it on there. I would typically go for this, just because it increases damage and pierces the target. That's the only reason why. And for example, my backup, the reason why I don't have it on this is because for the perfect combination, this gives me the ability to fire a little ball that does damage. I kind of leave it on. I, in fact, I, I should never leave it on this because it's not a good idea. Um, this one gives you, what is it? I think it's like a, a bubble boy. No longer as good as it, it was. And for this, again, the best combination for this is minefields. And then sniper, I like x-ray. So I know I already have x-ray goggles and I know some weapons have the x-ray ability. But like I've said in the past, I just think it's... That's the wrong one. I just think it's the best combination and I like it that way. And for the heavy, again, another example. I just like to have the perfect combination, which is this one. So it's, it's up to you. It's totally up to you. Have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.